Now, make sure you are in pick mode and not view. And, left click on the left hand side of the opening on the floor plan with your cursor. The placement of the tip of the cursor should be just above the floor plan and touching the wall. The opening will appear in the wall with the header and jam pieces. Note, if you hear a sound like breaking glass and a message box states that you could not place opening, do not worry. Most likely you placed the cursor directly on the floor plan and did not place it in the wall. You can better see your placement by returning to the Place Walls tab. Return to View Mode and feel free to rotate the image so that you can get a better view of the placement with its associated pieces. Moving on, there is another door on the right hand side of the building. Position your building so that you can see the door on the floor plan. Click on the Place Schedule tab and change your cursor back to pick mode. Place the second door. Rotate your image to the front of the building and place the last exterior door. If you made a mistake when placing an opening, you can delete your last placed opening by clicking on the garbage can icon located at the bottom of the place schedules tab. You can also change your opening's placement by clicking on the pencil icon. All of your standard material has been deducted from your material report and the bomb beam header and jam pieces have been added. Feel free to run a report at this time to view the changes in quantities. Make sure to click on the Save or OK button before you leave the screen. The next part of this chapter is what I consider the fun part. You are going to learn how to copy and change your current opening. Return to the Place Wall screen if you are not already there. Click on the Opening Schedule icon at the top of your screen. Make sure the exterior door is highlighted and right click on it. Select Insert and Screen UOS will open. Click on the button at the bottom of the screen that says Copy Last Opening, Exterior Door. The UOS screen will populate with the exterior door information. Change the description to Overhead Door and change Schedule Description to OHDR. Next, change the length to 12 feet and the height to 9 feet 4 inches. Click on the OK button and return to the opening schedule. You have now just used a copy feature to create another opening with different dimensions but all the same header and jam materials. We have one more opening to create. Right click on Exterior Door and select Insert. Click on Copy Last Opening and you are back to UOS. Change the description to Window and schedule description to WDW. The length becomes 5 feet and the height becomes 4 feet. On this one you are going to change the elevation to 3 feet 4 inches. Click on OK and return to the opening schedule. You have the ability to set up six openings as favorites for use when placing them. Highlight the exterior door and tap the C key. You will see the letter C appear under favorites. Now highlight the overhead door and tap the D key. And finally highlight the window and tap the E key. Now click the close button to return to the place wall screen. The overhead doors will get placed first. Click on the place schedules tab to make your walls transparent. 
Now maneuver the image so that you can see the overhead doors on the left side of the front of the building. Under the Play Schedules tab, you will see the letters C, D, and E. Click on the letter D and you will select the overhead door. Make sure you are now in pick mode. The offset is still set to left hand side, so click on the left hand side of the door on the floor plan and place your door. Now place the second overhead door. The windows are next. You're going to place four of them on the front of the building. Click on the letter E under Place Schedules to select the window. Change the offset to Center since there is a clear mark on the floor plan for the center of the window. Place Window 1, 2, 3, and 4. Click on the Place Walls tab and you can view all of your openings placed in the wall. Note. You can utilize the Repeat checkbox under the Schedules tab to horizontally place multiple openings with one click. There is also an option to place multiple openings vertically with one click. I recommend you check the Help file for more information. You can also check our website at www.tradesmans.com for upcoming detailed tutorials. We will be producing numerous advanced tutorials for our website over the course of version 5's run. You can view a list of all your placements by clicking on the SP or Schedule Placements icon. This screen will list all of the walls you have placed in your project and any type of placement you have made such as openings, control joints, or rebar. If you were to find a mistake, such as an extra window, you could use this screen to find and delete that opening. Click on Close and return to PW. Feel free to create and place the rest of the openings in the exterior wall if you feel you need a little more practice at this time. But you have officially finished the creating and placing openings part of the walkthrough. The next chapter in the walkthrough will cover the rebar schedule and rebar placement.